Hello friends, this video on plant growth and development part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Increase in size of the cell. So if you see one particular cell will only increase so that the content of protoplasm is also increased which in turn will result in growth of the plant. So all these are the factors which can actually tell you whether a plant is growing or not. So now let us look at the different phases of plant growth. Now when a plant grows, this gro process of growth of a plant is broadly divided into three phases. So the phase one is meristematic phase, which is followed by elongation phase and finally the maturation phase. So plant growth, no matter whichever plant it is, you will go through these three phases, meristematic, then elongation and then maturation. So these three phases of growth will come in this order itself. So that is first is meristematic, next is elongation and the last one is maturation. So let us discuss about each of these phases in detail. So what is meristematic phase of plant growth? So what is meristematic phase? Now the word meristematic again it comes from dividing. So this is that phase of plant growth where the cell divides. So root apical meristem and shoot apical meristem they together form they perform the main role in this phase of plant growth how because these two meristems the apical meristems they are mo mostly involved in dividing and forming new cells so when we talk about meristematic phase this phase occurs in the tip region so this region the tip part represents the meristematic zone so what are the characteristics of the cells which are present in this region now whatever cells are present in this region the tip they have a large nucleus because all these cells will be rapidly dividing to form more and more new cells now what if whatever features which favor more cell division will be present in the cells of this region like they have large nucleus because nucleus plays the most important role in cell division in a cell inside the cell you have so many cell organelles but nucleus is the one which plays the most important role in the process of cell division please recall the processes of mitosis and meiosis in your mind you will remember how nucleus plays the main role inside the nucleus only you have all those things right the formation of the chromatin the different phases anaphase metaphase so nucleus plays the most important role thin primary cell walls because why why thin cell walls because they are easy to break now if this cell wants to divide to form multiple cells so the, if the cell wall is thin that is easier to break but if it is very thick it will not break easily so if the cells are rapidly dividing their cell walls should be thin rich protoplasm so the protoplasm is quite rich and thick so that when multiple cells are also formed or when the cell divides the protoplasm gets distributed into the tube so these are some of the characteristics of the meristematic phase of plant growth the next phase is elongation phase now what happens the term elongation means to get elongated or to lengthen something so this part will represent the increase in length so this is the region which is just away from the apical region. So this was the apical region and this apical region was the meristematic region. After the apical region, this portion becomes the elongation phase. So what happens here? So the cells in this region enlarge. So when the cells will enlarge what will happen elongation will happen that is lengthening of the stem the stem length will increase new cell wall deposition because here in this case the cells are not going to divide the cells are only getting enlarged so the cell wall deposition will also be there increased vacuolation what do we mean by vacuolation vacuolation means formation of vacuoles now when the when vacuoles are more what will happen that will also cause a kind of elongation for the cells because in plant cells vacuoles also occupy a good amount of volume of the cell let us suppose this is a cell and this is the vacuole now one option is the cell itself can enlarge so that will also lengthen 
the stem. Another option is the vacuole enlarges or more vacuoles are formed inside the cell. So that can also cause an increase or lengthening of the cell and if the cells enlarge what will happen the entire stem will also lengthen in its size. So elongation phase is that is why known as elongation because the lengthening takes place here. So if you compare, if you look at the elongation phase, this is how it looks like. Let us suppose this is the tip of the stem and this is the elongation phase. Now earlier it was like this and later it elongates like this. So just imagine this part became, became this long. That means the number of cells which were present here have increased so many times. There are so many cells now. So this hap so. It is not that new cells have been formed. The same cells have got elongated. And how that happened? By cell enlargement or by increased vacuolation. So by these processes, cell elongation take place. And that is why the zone of elongation is just after the meristematic zone. Because in meristematic zone, new cells will be formed. In elongation zone, the same cells will elongate to cause an increase in the length and then this elongation phase will be followed by the maturation phase where the cells will mature themselves. Whichever cells were formed in the meristematic, uh, meristematic phase, they will get matured. So this region is just away from the elongation zone. So this is now let us consider the example of root. Till now we were consider the example of shoot. So in root this is the tip. This is the root tip. So root tip will def definitely represent the meristematic zone. So this is the meristematic zone or meristematic phase. This the next region after the meristematic zone is the elongation zone or the elongation phase. And beyond that, that is this region is the maturation phase or maturation region. So in this region, what happens to the cells? These cells have maximum cell wall thickening because now they are not going to get divided. Now once these cells mature, obviously they are not going to get divided. So they are going to be permanent cells. So the cell walls get thickened. Cells mature to permanent size as well as shape. Now you would have seen that the different cells which are present in the body of a plant. If you consider the cell of uh, a phloem, if you consider the phloem, inside phloem you have so many different types of cells. For example, the companion cells are present, the parenchyma cells are present, right? The sieve tubes are present. So if you and if you look at the shape and the structure or the size of each of them, they are so different from each other. Some of them have elongated nucleus some of them do not have a nucleus at all so the shape the structure everything is different so how these cells get these particular shape and structure this is how they get it first the cells are formed in the meristematic zone then they elongate to cause some increase in length and after that they start to differentiate and they start to become mature to attain a permanent size and shape so these are the three phases of plant growth so first is meristematic followed by elongation which in turn is followed by maturation phase. So I hope this phases of plant growth is clear. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.